Hello, welcome to Artivates. I'm going to show you how you can use all these bits and pieces to make a bag of bells from Animal Crossing New Horizons. I love that game. And these uh, bells are so important to the game, but I do find whenever I make any money, I always end up giving it to Tom Nook. So for this, you will need um, a, a big plate and a small plate. I'll come to that a bit more detail in a minute. I've got some chocolate coins to go inside and then I've got some felt and I've already cut out a brown piece of felt into a star shape and I used a cookie cutter to do that. I've used cookie cutters a few times in videos. Um, if you're interested in what I do with cookie cutters then uh, follow the links in the description. I'll put those up there later. So you need to grab the bigger of your bowls. I've actually got like a, a pasta shape bowl here and uh, the felt that I've got is an A4 piece of felt so it's not huge I think you can probably tell that by the uh, scale against my hands there so I'm just going to draw around this and I'm using a black pen so you can see what I'm doing but if I was making this really special then I would probably use a pencil because it wouldn't show up at the end and then I'm going to cut this out and I've sped this up so that you don't get bored of me just cutting because that's not a hard thing to do. So there we go, I'm gonna keep those scraps and use those another time. So now I have my bag shape. That, I promise you, will turn into a bag. Now the next thing I did, and if you want to copy me, this is what you do. <laughs> um, you get your smaller bowl, and this is a cereal bowl I'm using here, and you draw around that and try and get it in the middle. Mine's not right in the middle, but it will do. And at this stage, it looks a little bit like an omelette or a pancake or something, doesn't it? Or a taco or something. Now the felt I've got is quite uh, thick, uh, but if I had thinner felt, I would be able to fold it into quarters and it would make the next stage a lot quicker because this is the bit that takes a little bit of time. It's, don't, don't, don't think it takes ages. It's just, uh, just a little bit of investment here. So along that circle line, along that line that you drew with the inner one, you're going to use a hole punch and you're going to punch a hole like that on one um, point and then on the opposite side as well. Be careful you don't catch any of the other part of the felt in there because you don't want to make an, a hole using the other part of your hole punch. So um, then you might need to sort of just pull at these a little bit to get them out, but they do come out eventually but they sometimes need a little bit of persuasion and you can always use scissors to help you there. So your next task, and this is something you're gonna repeat, you're going to match up those holes like that and then you're just going to do the same thing. And this is why I've sped this up because otherwise this could be a bit tiresome. So all I'm doing is matching up the holes that I've just made and basically just making more along that fold bit. And I think that's, I think I do it about four times um, and then you eventually end up with um, sort of double holes um, at equal distance or as good as you can get it all the way around that circle that you used. Okay, and now that is ready to do. Now you've got a clean side and you've got a grubby side. This is the inside of your bag. So you need to make sure that this bit is facing you. I've got myself a piece of red cord here. It does get itself in knots and um, mine is a little bit wiggly because um, it was actually uh, part of three strands that were all kind of weaved together, like twisted together. You know how um, some people hold their curtains back with um, some like fancy cords? I think that's what this originally was, but it also worked really well for this bag, uh, for the bells, bells bag. That's it. Anyway, you, if you don't have any, you can always use ribbon or some string, but in the game, it is red. So if you look, I'm making sure that the cord isn't visible as much on the outside because if you look, the longer stretch between the holes is on the inside and the shorter stretch is on the outside. I'm just doing that for aesthetic reasons. It, it will still work if you did it the other way around as well but I just think that works quite well. And if you noticed, I started coming, I went in um, on one of those, on one side of a short pair. Okay, so now it's just a case of grabbing hold of those two ends. And if you match those up like that, and then give it a bit of a tug, it starts to come together. 
And this is where it looks a bit like a medieval purse, you know, something like, I think Robin Hood would probably pinch that off the Sheriff of Nottingham or something. Anyway, we're not doing that now. We're making Animal Crossing bags of bells. I'm going to put some chocolate coins inside like that for a little treat. And if I pull that tight like that, it all closes and I get that nice sort of ball shape inside. Do yourself a little knot like that. And then you can sort of adjust how it is at the top. And now you need to wind that cord around the back, twist it over, put, keep pulling it all the time so it keeps nice and tight like that. And then you can do another knot to keep it extra secure. It's probably good to do two knots there. Now that cord is very long and in the game there isn't, uh, there aren't bows, there are, it's just kind of loose. So I'm going to get myself some scissors. Oh, there we go. Actually, I'm not getting scissors now, am I? I'm just doing another knot. I thought I'd already done that. Sorry about that. Right, where are my scissors? This is where I'm going to cut it so it's not quite as long. And there we go. It's now looking a bit more like a bag of bells. Now, if I use my felt star that I've already pre-cut, I've also put some double-sided tape on that already too, because again, you don't need to see me doing that. But look at that. That looks just like the bag of bells from the game. I'll have to make sure that Tom Nook doesn't get his hands on that. Now, you could make this for a friend to give us a present. It would look really good if you had a party um, and it was a themed round Animal Crossing. You could use those as little uh, favours or something like that, little party bags. Anyway, it's up to you what you do with it, isn't it? Now I'm just bending the top over to the side slightly because it does look like that in the game, but I think that's worked out all right. Now I really hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give me a like, subscribe to the channel, and maybe you can come back for some more arty makes really soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.